In this video, we look at how to use differential calculus to find the gradients of tangents and normals. Okay, so we're in topic five calculus in the AI course here. In topic five, there are two main subtopics. We have differential calculus, which is what we're talking about here, and then also integral calculus. Now inside differential calculus, there are two main applications. We have tangents and normals and finding their equations, and then also turning points, so maximums, minimums, and then that leads into a concept called optimization. But we are currently looking at tangents and normals, and this video focuses on how do we actually find the slopes or the, or the gradients of these tangents and normals. Now this is, a th uh, this is the third of a four part video series of the subtopic differential calculus. The first video looked at what does differential calculus mean from a conceptual point of view. And we actually had this curve here. And we talked about how finding the derivative will give us the slope of this curve at any point. So I actually recommend going and watching that video first titled Overview of Differential Calculus before watching this one. The second video looked at how do we actually find the derivative? If we're given an equation here like this one, how do we differentiate this to find the derivative? But this video looks at how do I find the gradient of a tangent and normal at any point? And this question says, find the gradient of the tangent and normal to this curve here at x is equal to three. So at x is equal to three, that's this coordinate here on the curve. So we want to find the gradient of the tangent. Now a tangent at x is equal to three will look like this. It's a straight line that runs parallel to the curve at that point. So that's the tangent, which I'll solve in purple. And a normal to the curve at, at x is equal to three runs uh, perpendicular to the tangent. So that'll look something like this. Again, that passes through x is equal to three. So this here is my tangent. And the green is my normal. And they are perpendicular, so they meet at a right angle. So this here is my normal. So this video is all about how do I find the gradients of these two lines here? And then that, th that then leads into how do I find the equations of these lines? I won't go into that in this, uh, in this video. That relies on your understanding of finding the equations of linear lines, which is covered in topic two. So this video is all about using the derivative to find the gradients of these lines. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the tangent. I'm gonna start with the equation of the curve. So y is equal to negative x squared plus four x plus two. Now, if we want to find the gradient of the tangent, we need to firstly differentiate our equation here. So let's go ahead and do that. So the derivative is y dash. We talked about this in the second video titled Basics of Differentiation. And we go and differentiate these three terms. So this is negative two x plus four. If you're not sure how I got that, I recommend going back and watching video two, Basics of Differentiation. Let's now clean this up. Y dash is equal to negative two X plus four, and there is our derivative. So if we want to now find the gradient of the tangent, this purple line here, at X is equal to three, all we need to do is to substitute in X is equal to three into our derivative. So I'm gonna say here, let's sub in X is equal to three, and we get y dash is equal to negative two multiplied by three plus four. That is negative six plus four, and that is equal to negative two. So the gradient of this line here, which is the same as saying the slope of the curve at x is equal to three, the gradient, which I'll call the gradient of the tangent, mt, is equal to negative two. So this here is our gradient of our tangent. Now that we have found that, let's go ahead and find the gradient of the normal. In order to find that, we need to know the relationship between the gradients of perpendicular lines. And that relationship is the gradient of the normal is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. Now there's some fancy words there, but all that really means is negative one on the gradient of the tangent. So our gradient of the tangent is negative two, so therefore, our gradient of the normal will be negative one on negative two. And you can use your calculator for there, but it's basically one on two. 
and we have a negative number divided by a negative number, so that's just gonna be a half. So the gradient of this line here, which we'll call MN, is equal to one half. So there we have it. We have used differential calculus there to find the gradient of the tangent and then used our understanding of the relationship of the gradients of perpendicular lines to find the gradient of the normal. You can then use those two pieces of information to find the equations of these two lines. Okay, uh, I now recommend going and practicing some of these questions over in the question bank section.